Good morning. Yes, we have got sweatpants on, we've got jumper and we are bunned, fully morning bunned, to bring you the content you subscribed for. Behind this door is my office, but you cannot call it an office right now. I am going to show you. Yes, I'm full of shame. It has become a room that was full of so much, you know, productivity. I loved it. I was sorting it out, but it was never truly finished or unpacked and things just ended up being put in this room by me. Packaging, boxes, whatever it was, it just ended up just getting, oh, I'll put it away later. I'm going to take you in and we are going to completely organize, sort, and revamp this entire office. I've got my desk, new desk coming today, the whole shebang, I've got a label maker, we are ready. But I need to show you what it looks like before. So, here she is in all of her glory. That's where I've been filming, because you can't see the rest of it. We've just got, it's just, I, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. Okay. There is much work to be done in here. Okay, so I am going to start by sorting through everything. I'm gonna go through my books, the lot, get rid of whatever I do not need and what doesn't spark me joy. I think it's Marie Kondo who does all that. I'm gonna do it because I cannot work in here. This is not a working space and it's a beautiful big room and it was so nice to begin with and it's just all gone to hell. It really has, so join me. If this isn't your thing, then I will see you in the next video. But if it is, and you like the good time lapses, those really satisfying before and afters, this is the video for you, I hope. All right, bun, are we ready? Ready, messy bun? Excellent, excellent, all right. I'm gonna put some YouTube on, a little bit of music maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna set the tone for productivity. All right, books, first up. Let's start with these. Oh. Some of these books I haven't even read. Good book, I think. I think it was a good book. I might take that one on holiday. It feels like a holiday read. It's one of my favorite teenage books. I've held onto it for a long time. And um, when my best friend's daughter grows up and she's a bit older, I'd love to give it to her. <laughs> Dusty. I will dust it off before I give it to you, Liz, I swear. Because um, it just inspired my imagination. It was one of those books that I just like got lost in for the first ever time. And I remember this book, so um, I'll pass this on. This one, God, how old are you? Like, girl, nice glasses. My really old childhood books, so if I'll keep these or pass them on or something like that. I mean, I don't need really the foundations of physiological psychology, do I now? Or the healing power of EFT? No, I'm not. Psycholinguistics looks like a 1990s book, don't know why I've got it. Chartered Disorders is one of those that was on a reading list that, you know, you pay like £35 for and then never use it and now all the research in it is clearly out of date anyway. Schizophrenia and Human Value, I'm good. I mean, I found it in a charity shop. Am I actually ever going to read it? I want to attempt to read it just so I can see what all the fuss is about because obviously I'm a big fan of the show. And I mean, by fuss, like everyone says, the type of writer he is, it's just a lot. It's a lot to read his book. So, oh my God. Girl, who is she more like? <laughs> I'm <joking>. <laughs> <laughs> I keep a collection, like have a little mini library kind of thing. I want to keep the good ones. Um, so I think books are a nice thing to keep, to reread or to lend to people. And I don't know, I just like having books. Not too shabby. Got rid of a big box already. Nice, nice. This is for recycling. Big bags as well. This is a bag because I was gonna do a massive scrapbook for like a really cool funky little DIY video and make a massive scrapbook to tell the journey of everywhere I've traveled so far. And I was collecting pieces for so long and it's all in here waiting. I just need to get some photos printed. And I haven't done it. Like, it's very rare that I start getting things for a video and then I don't do the video, but that's just been haunting me. It's just sat there. Ugh, another bag because I need more luggage in my life. Why do I have all this ribbon? 
certified that Alicia Ford successfully completed a workshop on the prevention and therapeutic management of violence and aggression. Yes, I did. Why do I still have you? A ton of these. Did anyone else get these? Old, um, the Disney books that you'd collect. Aladdin! Oh. Uh, I feel like I need to pass these on to a child to enjoy. My big coffee table, lonely planet book. God study. Oh, it's most definitely time. So I thought I'd really like to keep um, like a copy of my dissertation. I've got my driving test certificate. I've got certificates I won at university. Um, when I graduated, I got extra um, awards and things I'm really proud of. Um, so I've cleared this box out and I'm gonna put labels on it and it's gonna just be a keepsake box of, you know, like certificates, things I left from my past, which are like, I don't wanna chuck away or get rid of, um, but they can all live nice and tidy in here. So glad I didn't film any of that, cause like my name, address, national insurance number, everything was all over everything. So I'm um, glad I didn't film that, but um, it is time to play. Oh, she, <laughs> hell yeah. This is so like, um, so the cheapest one off Amazon I could find. Oh, does double lines. Snip, you have done it. This big black box, which I won't play in frame because it's got like details on it, is full of letters from like over 10 years ago, like even before university, like student finance application forms and orange phone bills. Back when I was with orange, remember them? Like shit like that or hospital <clears throat> um, appointment letters and all this stuff from so long ago. I mean, now I have a massive box that either needs to be burnt or shredded because it's got my like national insurance number on them and like old addresses, but you know, just things like that. Like just a massive box I've been holding on to like of all these letters that don't mean anything. Like it was fun to go through some of them to see like what I was paying for student accommodation when I was living in Wales, which was when we got our own house for second and third year. Um, for the first house we were paying 45 pound a week plus eight pounds a week bills. That's what I was paying. And then the second house, I think went up to 50. Or is it the other way around? 50 pound a week with eight, nine pound bills a week. So that was what I was paying. Um, I had my student loan for a house, a shared house with like three other people, uh, four other people, three other people. Shut up, Ali. Can I remember those times? No, because I was very drunk. <laughs> we are getting there, everybody. We are getting there. Bun just wants to give up at this point, but. We shall persevere. Come, bun. It's no time to sleep. Don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably won't recognize it. But Scott and I, this is like solid wood. Um, Scott and I went to our first auction. They are so good. Oh my God, they're addictive to bid on things. Things were going so cheap. And they had this, um, they had a bookshelf, they had a thing over there, which I'll show you, which you'll see. It's like a CD rack, but you could use it for anything. So these beautiful metal paneling down the side. And it's like solid, solid wood. And I wanted the whole sex, it came with a coffee table and we were looking for the perfect bookshelf in this kind of dark wood with the metalwork. It was like perfection. I think for this, I paid 11 pounds. For this tall CD rack kind of shelving unit, I paid two pounds, I'm not lying here. For the bookshelf downstairs, I think it was like 15 and the coffee table was like 12. We got it all for like under 40 quid or something like that. 
it, it was just ridiculous. And it's like the most beautiful bloody furniture. And it's exactly what we wanted, like proper solid, like not plywood, Ikea stuff. We wanted to really find some beautiful solid pieces, which can be really bloody expensive, like a single piece, like a coffee table you can spend 70 quid on, a bookshelf you can spend like 200 pounds on for like really good stuff. Um, so we were chuffed. have to bring it up in pieces because it's a massive box. Right. Stay. It's funny because the rest of the house we want to like fill up with like secondhand furniture from like charity shops and auctions. When it comes to my office though, I'm so particular like with the type of desk I want to get with those drawers which are from Ikea um, and things like that. I will take you through and do like, I'll link as well things down below. So impatient and I'm so particular with what I want, but it's, um, it's a thing, you know? What am I talking about? No idea. With my pure brute strength. God, that's a lot of strength. Squidge eating a bit of apple. The ice queen. So we now have a brand new filming area. Before this corner was just used to pile in boxes, packages and trash. But now it is my brand new filming corner and I am in love. So this is where we'll be doing all the real talks. Any kind of sit down video will be done here. It go super hard on the plank game and I have zero regrets. Put this up from an auction. If anyone can tell me what it reminds them of, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I just wanted to create an area that I could just pull my tripod out and just start filming. So we got all of my favorite books. We got some globes, a lot of globes. Prints I picked up in Edinburgh and I absolutely love it. So yeah, this is the filming corner and you'll be seeing it a lot hopefully in many videos to come. So I've always loved this storage section but I always try to make this my backdrop of my videos and in reality, my life is on Pinterest or Instagram and I need it to be practical and not pretty. So this is her now. She will not be shown unless I'm vlogging. Label maker again was strong. We have all of my filings and everything here. I absolutely love this because it's a nice open space for me to file things away and see what I've got. So in this corner was where my desk used to be. It was given to me by my best friend Liz because she knew I desperately needed a desk. But it was more for a desktop computer and it just was way too cluttered. Now we have a lovely open flat desk so I've got lots of space to work. This was the chair I was using at that desk but it's too loungy. You know what I mean? It just wasn't a great desk chair so we are going to be ordering one when we get back from Tunisia but until then garden chair will do. I decided to move this over so I wasn't so cramped up in the corner. Again we have a strong label game here. So top drawer is for scrap paper. Then we have all the folders and notepads which are slipping around everywhere that I salvaged when I went through everything. I got these drawer separators from Wilco's, so now everything has its own little place. I did use some drawer separators from Ikea, the white ones, but I didn't find them as good. Then we have my stationery, 
and just the drawer of doom. I think we just all need one. Let's not lie. Everyone's got one. Then on the desk itself, Curry, Legend. Um, all of this is like my go-to notepads and any projects, contracts, anything like that, briefs that I need on hand that are currently working projects. I keep in the back here, just some stickies and some blue tack and some post-its, my stapler, some little notepads, things like that. And then yeah, the rest is pretty self-explanatory really. We've got my plants, a nice candle, because you know, we are still a YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen. We might not be Pinterest, but we're still here to play the candle game. Um, we've got my brand new microphone, which I've been obsessed with. I've been using it for my grease videos. I'm gonna use it for my live stream tonight. Thank you so much, Blue. They did send me this uh, for free, like they did the last one, which I've been using obsessively for two years. We've of course got my she who shall not be named, cause she'll get excited. And yeah, I also picked up a really good shredder to get rid of all those files that I found and it's like an absolute champ. The walls are super bare mainly because well they're all like brick walls and I've got a lot of prints that I want to put up in this place. Some of them will have to be drilled so Scott can help me with that. Um, so yes that's not done yet. I wanted to make sure that this area was done. I am um, especially this corner. I am obsessed. I just love it, I can feel productive. There is just so much space to work and to film and to organize. And yeah, it came out exactly as I wanted it to. Well, I know this video was something a little bit different for this channel, but you know, I do enjoy my lifestyle stuff ever since we got a house. So I thought I'd throw that one in for you. If you do like lifestyle -y stuff, hello Dave, how you doing? Um, Drunk. Dave, you're drunk again. If you like more lifestyle stuff, then my Instagram is where it's at. If you like me killing plants, if you like squirrels, birds, and cats, and just home stuff, which is just ridiculous of me trying to be this home, my Instagram. Just go to my Instagram. Anyway, I am currently, when you're watching this, in Tunisia, so I'm gonna love and leave. I'm gonna put this together and make sure it goes up whilst I'm away so you're not left with no videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll link as many little things as I can down below that I picked up online, but a load of stuff was also from auctions, charity shops, and things like that. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. All right.